Smoke rarely stops billowing from the chimneys of this designated crematorium for COVID-19 patients in Beijing. Funeral homes in the Chinese capital say they're struggling to keep up with so many bodies amid increased demand for cremation. It's unclear if the strain is due to COVID-19, but cities across China are bracing for their first waves of infections after the lifting of more than two years of strict pandemic restrictions, just as the virus was spreading in a country with weak immunity. Now it's facing a possible explosion of cases and over a million deaths through 2023, according to the latest projections from the U.S.-based Institute of Health Metrics and Evaluation. The Independent Research Center predicts cases in China will peak around April 1st, when deaths would reach 322,000. On Saturday, health officials offered nasal spray vaccines to residents as booster shots. But China's use of less effective vaccines only adds to concerns as queues of hearses bearing the dead lined the narrow streets leading to the crematorium. One truck carried a body wrapped in a blanket in the back. Despite residents' newfound freedom, Beijing streets remain largely deserted. Now, China's National Health Authority has not reported any official deaths since abandoning its zero-COVID policies. Shanghai, however, seems to be returning to China's old playbook, as it announced most schools will be returning online starting Monday. For City News, I'm Karen Siolin.